mine is Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a flaming flamingo. So grab your art making mediums and let's make some art. All right, let's begin our flaming flamingo artwork. So first we're gonna draw our flamingo's head. So we'll draw one curving line at the top. Then we'll draw a nice big line that curves around and down for the beak. And back up, connect. Draw a line for the head. Then we'll bring the neck out and around and up. Draw a second line for the neck and stop where the body will start. On the beak, we're gonna go back there. We're gonna draw a line up the center. Add a little nostril. Then we're gonna add some zigzag lines towards the front for where we're gonna color it in later with black. Draw a big flamingo eye. One big circle, one small circle, and then we're gonna color in the dark of the eye, leaving that one little circle with white. Draw an oval under the eye for a cute little cheek. Then you can add some feather texture around the eye and a long part of the neck. Perfect. Draw the back of the flamingo with some zigzag lines. And then we'll zigzag it out or add some curved lines for the feathers on the wing. Draw the body and coming down to a thigh. Zigzag up to the tail, which we can draw with more zigzag lines. Perfect. I'm gonna have another leg peeking out in the back here. And then I'll draw one line that goes off the page for the leg. And then another one will go this way, bend, and we'll see this leg. Okay, so I'll bend it out, and now we'll see one little back thumb and then a few toes. Perfect. Back to wing, we'll add some more feather texture on there. And you can add some feather texture to the tail as well. I'm gonna add a couple of little shiny spots on my flamingo. So I'll add some curved triangles. All right, so now we gotta make our flamingo flaming. Here we go. First, we're going to draw flame starting on this side. And we're gonna curve our lines up and around, back down, and connect. Then we'll do a second layer on the inside that's slightly less dramatic, and down as we create our flaming flamingo. Okay, cool. Next, we'll grab our best flamingo color, and of course, it's pink. So grab a lovely pink marker, and we're gonna color in our flamingo, leaving those shiny spots, well, white. So our flamingo looks like it has a bit of a gloss finish to it. 
a little bit of a shine. I'm just gonna leave that top edge of my flamingo white for some highlights. It's also going to help the flamingo stand out against the flaming background as of course, it's a flaming flamingo. Okay, so we got pink. Then I'm gonna grab a light orange. I'm gonna color my legs with my light orange, but you can do yellow. It's really up to you. I'm also going to use this orange and I'm going to color in the top part or top layer of this flame. I'm not gonna color exactly around my flamingo, so I'm not gonna go right up to that line. I'm gonna intentionally leave a little white border. That way, there's a little bit of contrast between the flamingo and the flame, so it's easier for our audience of our super cool drawings to see our flamingo against the flame. Grab a yellow, we'll color in the top part of the beak yellow and the rest of the flame. Again, not going right near your flamingo. A little bit of space. You can color in your beak with your black. You can grab a gray. We're gonna add a little bit of shading to our art. It could be any medium. You can use any medium to add shading. To finish it off, I'm gonna color in this cheek. And I'm gonna take my marker and go around my flamingo one final time to thicken up the lines. So you can hold your marker on its side, trace around the lines. just on the outside.
Perfect. And once you're done tracing around your flamingo, your lovely flame and flamingo artwork is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.